Our sweet summer's gone And on my mirror she made it clear Lipstick can't be wrong My summer, summer, my sweet summer is gone My sweet summer is gone it's Liz and today I'm going to be doing the second video in my spring cleaning series and so today we are going to be cleaning out and organizing our closets so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to take everything out of your closet just take everything grab all of the clothes and put it somewhere I like to put all of mine on my bed just because that way I'm able to see everything and it gives me a surface to work on. Next, you wanna sort the clothes into three piles, your giveaway pile, your throwaway pile, and your keep pile. Um, my throwaway pile is usually the smallest, but I'll find clothes that have big holes, tears, or just are really worn out and they shouldn't even be donated to Goodwill, and those will get thrown away. Some people like to make a pile of clothes that they think they like and they don't know if they wanna keep them or not, but personally, I don't like to do that. I used to use that method and hang on to clothes that I thought I would like, but you just really need to be honest with yourself and like really think about it. Try everything on and really like think about, do I actually like this piece of clothing? And most of the time, those clothes that you kind of feel iffy about and end up hanging on to, you end up not ever wearing them. So it's good to just be very honest with yourself and just if you really aren't happy in that piece of clothing, then just get rid of it. Just Get it out of your closet so you can put clothes that you do enjoy wearing in your closet. So once you have finished sorting into your piles, go ahead and fold slash hang up the clothes that you've decided to keep. I don't have a huge closet and I don't have a lot of space to hang things, so I tend to fold most of my clothes. Um, the majority of my shirts are folded and put into shelves and all of my pants and skirts are folded. Now if you do have a small closet like me, you can use this trick to fit more stuff into your closet and all you're gonna do is um, attach paper clips to your hangers and hang another hanger from that paper clip and it creates like a chain of hangers. This way you're able to hang three items um, in the space that it would take to normally hang one. This is how I used to hang everything in my closet before I cleaned it out this time. But since I got rid of so many clothes, it wasn't necessary, and also I am using these really thin hangers. I really suggest getting these hangers. You can fit so many more hangers on your rack if you use these thinner hangers. Really, it's up to you to decide how you want to organize different parts of your closet. Some people like to do everything by color. I personally like to do everything by style. So I put tank tops together, long sleeves together, sweaters together, button downs together. Now, a key in organizing your closet is making sure that you can easily see every single piece of clothing. So when you put clothes in stacks, make sure you're able to see every shirt that's in that stack, make sure you're able to easily see it so that you'll see it and be like, oh yeah, I should wear that today. Because if you don't see the clothing, you'll forget about it and you'll never wear it. Same thing goes for in drawers. Drawers is where this really tends to happen. Stacking them sort of sideways, I'm able to easily see all of my sweaters without just being able to see the top sweater on a stack. So the first thing I recommend getting to stay organized are bins slash cubes. And these are great for just throwing um, like scarves, bras, socks in. This is how I organize all of those things actually. I have a cube for my um, scarves and just because scarves, it's annoying to hang up scarves. They don't need to fo be folded. They don't get wrinkly. You can just throw them in there and don't worry about it. Socks, again, I have lots of socks and it gets really messy. So I put all of those in a little bin and it looks so neat and tidy. You would never guess that there's an insane amount of socks stuffed inside of there. Storing belts is often another thing that can be challenging. And my mom gave me this hanger that has a bunch of belt hooks on it. I don't know where it is from, but I'm sure you can find one similar on Amazon or Target or like at the container store. I'm sure you can find them somewhere. And it's just really neat and handy to have it be able to hang up in my closet and I can just hook all my belts on there. And the last thing that I used to keep my closet really organized is my shoe rack. I love my shoe rack so much. I got this one from Walmart. It was, I think, $15, so not expensive at all. They have different height options, and the cool thing about these shoe racks is they're expandable, so you can make it as long as you need to for your space, so it will fit any space perfectly, which is awesome. And it's better to keep your shoes on a shoe rack than in shoe boxes because you're able to see all of them, and so when you go to pick out your shoes, you're able to see all your shoes, it's more likely that you'll remember that you have that cute pair of flats that you want to start wearing more. Yeah, that is how I organize and clean out my closet. Um, I actually had a friend come over, Trelly, and she went through all the clothes that I was going to donate, and she took like a good third of them. 
So that was nice. The rest of the clothes I will first take to Plato's Closet to see if they want to buy any of them and then I'll take whatever is left over after that and donate to Goodwill. Yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I really enjoyed filming it and I'm so excited that my closet and just my room is getting so clean. Don't forget to subscribe to see my next spring cleaning video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!